President Trump will return to Washington tonight after a long weekend at his Florida resort. He continues to defend himself after being accused of making vulgar comments when talking about Haiti, El Salvador and African countries. As the controversy plays out, protection for hundreds of thousands so-called dreamers is at stake. We are men. We are men. We are men. Hundreds of Haitian Americans protested near President Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort. Trump strong. While his supporters waved flags and yelled for the protesters to leave the U.S. Go back home. The tension is spilling over from claims the president made racist remarks about Haiti, El Salvador, and some African nations during a meeting about immigration. I am the least racist person you have ever interviewed. The controversy has stalled negotiations to protect DACA recipients, immigrants who were brought to the country illegally as children. President Trump spent the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday at his golf course, but took time to tweet, quote, Honestly, I don't think the Democrats want to make a deal. They talk about DACA, but they don't want to help. We are ready, willing, and able to make a deal, but they don't want to. Some Democrats are threatening to vote against a budget deal unless it includes DACA protections. And if lawmakers don't reach an agreement, the government could shut down on Friday. In South Carolina, Republican Senator Lindsey Graham had a message for the president. It's going to take you, Mr. President, working with Republicans and Democrats to get this done. It's not going to be done on Twitter uh, by tweeting. It's going to be done by talking. And understanding. The DACA program ends in March. If lawmakers don't find a solution, those immigrants could face deportation.